right, it's Jennifer Jones live from the Everest Curling Club Championships. We are in the women's draw of our final eight. We have two A-side finals. Uh, but, and our feature game will feature one of those between Quebec and Nova Scotia. Very exciting as we get near the end of this competition as these teams try to make it into that final four. Oh, the spinorama this morning. We had some fun. Uh, Team Saskatchewan ended up losing that game. Very good matchup. Team Nova Scotia lost their last round round one game, what they thought was a must win, but they snuck into the playoffs, won their quarterfinal matchup this morning, and now they are here playing Team Quebec, and it looks like Quebec will have last rock. This is lead Shauna Collier to start us off. Throwing the, looks like they were trying to come into the rings, but I think this will be short. from Team Quebec. Good news for these teams as well as Team Ontario and Team New Brunswick. The loser will have a second life. The other games on the ice featuring Team Manitoba versus Team British Columbia. One of those teams will be eliminated from play as well as Team Saskatchewan and Team Alberta. One of those teams will be eliminated after losing this morning. Just a perfect draw from the Nova Scotia lead. Above the T-line, top four. Close down that scoring area. No. No. And now the draw attempt from Quebec lead. It just didn't quite they get the line. Fairly decent weight, and it just didn't quite curl as much as they were hoping it was going to. Now the takeout. Our first look at Jilda. This is really curling. She's in danger of hitting the guard. And that is a pretty bad, pretty big mistake from Jilda. Uh, Even if she is hit and rolled out on the wide side on the red stone. Again, this ice, if anything, pointing inwards and it will curl quite a bit. <laughs> now Quebec will play the hit to lie too. They do have last rock here in our opening end. This is a death 
Catanoir. I know my pronunciation is not very good. I apologize. She plays a lot of mixed doubles in the Quebec series. They're run by Robert Desjardins. She does an amazing job of growing the mixed doubles uh, play in Quebec. They have so many strong teams. Brent and I were fortunate enough to play play there All right, Julie, let's go. over this season and have really enjoyed it. So now a chance for Jill to to kind of make amends and make this double. Another over curl from, from Jill Dye. She's just a little bit soft and early. She gets them started so they curl sooner. So one option for Meredith is just to give a little bit more ice. Um, we know that her rocks are going to curl just to give her an opportunity to make them. That one over curled but did make the takeout. And now a come around attempt for Quebec. And a little, a little bit of an over curl again, as we saw uh, for for Team Quebec, and a, just that little light on the weight, and it curls a little bit too soon. So Nova Scotia have an opportunity to hit and stay. Nice shot. I've had a few more questions uh, on my Instagram. I'm going to try to answer as many as I can. Yes! Yes! Really working this. Karin may have yes! got this a little bit inside. What a great sweep from the girls. And nose hit. When somebody asked, how do I get my daughter into competitive curling? She's been playing for five years, and that's always the hard part because you got to find a, a, a group of girls that are still on the same page, and it's just about finding the really good junior programs. I know in Winnipeg, St. Mattel Curling Club has a great junior program, and if you're involved in that, there's other other young people that who are also interested in playing in competitive curling, so you want to be around others that are of kind of same mindset. Uh, and then find some good coaching and then just keep trying. And even if you're not on the team to start with that potentially you want to be, it's just about playing in those events, getting to know other other competitive players at, around your age and trying to find that right teamwork, right chemistry yes! that will uh, last hopefully for years to come. And going out and practicing. Yes. Just oh, taking oh. them out on the ice with you whenever you can. and. Just having some fun with this game. This is one thing we saw with Team Quebec when we covered them earlier this week. They do throw quite a bit of weight on their takeouts. And that that almost rolled out, but it did manage to stay in play. It's actually a perfect shot. I don't mind it either. Yeah. Do you like that? Or do you want to play it just to keep it open? Well, we can try to think ice. It's going to go here. It looks like Meredith uh, Harrison is going to play this draw. I actually like this call. It's likely, it's very hard to hit and stay when those rocks are way out that there. Do you guys like to sink it? Or, yeah. Yeah. 
it's just hard to hit and stay, and then you're allowing Team Quebec to make the draw. Meredith's trying to beat them in, and Meredith's one of the best draw players. Really good, really good feel for draw weight. Still 85, you think? Okay, yeah, let it move on its own. We'll get it there. Line's okay. A little full right now. It seems Fair to move. Where? Yes. It's moving. Yes, line. Yes, line. Hard line. Yes. Okay. They just lost that. Okay. It's just the speed. It's a speed shot. They they need to Not sweep weight, for the weight so and that. make sure that you give a lot of room by that guard ben, to get by. So for Isabel Neron, top cat, top cat, top four, top cat. Huh? Uh, it'll allow Meredith Harrison to freeze and hopefully okay. hold Quebec oh, we to two points. Top two is not bad. She wants to make sure she's above the T line so that there's no freeze attempt from Team Nova Scotia. really curl, but if you get it out a little bit wider, it runs straight for a longer period of time and just doesn't catch that swoop. So now we're an opportunity for the skip of Team Nova Scotia and Meredith Harrison to hit and roll behind those guards, and there's a whole wall of guards. If she can get it behind those guards, it, it will be a draw against one for Team Quebec. A little inside flop if we can. Yeah. Really trying to get this over, and I think they might have overdone it. And that rolls out. They almost hit the guard. A little unforced error there from Team Nova Scotia. Hard to believe it's going to curl that much at the end. And a draw to the rings for Team Quebec for their two points. And I'm just looking over at the sheet right beside. Uh, it looks like Team New Brunswick has team has the hammer over Team Ontario. And I'm not sure how we got to this point, but it looks like Team New Brunswick has a soft weight tap for four to take a, a big lead in that game. The girls are working this as soon as Isabel let this go. Really working on this. It needs to get in the rings. Sweeping very hard. And it will get there. That is a two. Just made it. They will score two. And that will be a two-nothing lead for Quebec.
Welcome back to the Everest Curling Club Championship. I'm Jennifer Jones, and we are in our A-side final action. Trying to get to the final four in this Canadian Championship. Big two points to start the game by Team Quebec, but lots of chances for Team Nova Scotia. Uh, just need to get those draws in better spots. It's something that we often talk about, and... If they can do that, okay, they could just need okay, to generate a couple of points and lots of game left. So we saw the corner guard going up. It's a little bit high. Team Quebec is not going to worry about guarding shot stone. They're, they just want to get a good center line guard up by the looks, by the sounds Get's of it. Ball. Get's ball. She's saying four is good, Get's which means top play. 12. Get's excellent. It's not even good. It's excellent. I agree. Nice shot here. Excellent. Nice shot from Veronique Bouchard. Nova Scotia pl playing the hit and roll. And unfortunately, over curls, they don't make the double either. But sticking around is key. Quebec will have to deal with that yellow stone. This looks a little bit st strong. It will okay. stop in the forefoot. Now a double is available, I believe. I think there's enough room by that guard. Okay, let's go. See if Meredith gives Jelda just a little bit more ice. She's just been over curling a little bit. Open up the broom. I like to hit myself. Back eight. By hitting, it brings that top yellow stone into play. Jilda wants to make sure she uses all of the broom here. Looks like it's just curling early on them. Just a, not quite enough weight. So now an opportunity for Quebec to sink another one. And Nova Scotia is gonna be in a lot of trouble here if this can be made. A 
I do believe that this hit is there where you could throw that same hack weight, roll underneath. You might get that to go in the open. I think we need to move something. Okay. The other option is to hit these guards. If you nose this, All right, Tilly. Right, Hatter, let's go. you probably get that Yellowstone to go back into the pile, which would be a great result. Sweeping this again okay. to try to, okay. looks like it might okay. have over curled and, and just peeling the top red. And Gilda looks like she's throwing it okay, maybe a little bit soft. I, I, it's just kind of how she's throwing it and I think it, you just gotta give her a little bit more ice and uh, they're just sweeping everything she throws right away and it's over curling just a, that little bit. Just an update, it uh, looks like New Brunswick missed their shot for four and only got two, but still up two nothing on Ontario after one. And Team Manitoba opened with two against British Seven. Columbia. And a must win for those teams, I believe the Seven. loser is eliminated from competition. is a really good draw from Quebec third, Karine Tremblay, and the fans love it. Quebec has lots of fans here. So again, they're just trying to hit this stone onto that yellow stone and get it, bring it back into the pile. is really curling. They need to make sure they're on the high side of this stone. And unfortunately for Team Nova Scotia, nothing got eliminated. Mem show, same thing. Draw around those guards. This may hit the guard, but it still does the trick. And I think it's the same thing from Team Nova Scotia. They need to get rid of these guards. I need more weight. You had a little less than normal. I need at least normal, if not. What did I just go? Unfortunately, this okay. might get lucky on those bat. Oh no, worked out. As bad as it could have really for Team Nova Scotia. You can see they're trying to hit this high to make the to make the double, and it just overcurls, leaves the guard. Three all on the forefoot, and I don't see how you get in there. I think this is going to be the only shot for Team Nova Scotia, and that's why Quebec is looking at taking that away. In our last game, it looks like Team Saskatchewan is up one over Team Alberta. And Team Alberta does have the hammer in the second.
On traverse le tapon pour être top 4. Je ne sais pas si la zone est dans le chemin. Je pense que oui. La zone est dans le chemin. La zone est dans le chemin. On va te throw the guard. Tu vas le dire à Karine. Comme ça. I think they're worried about hitting. Okay. Changing the turn. They're going to try to, they're afraid about coming across the, the face of that long corner guard, the yellow rock that's not in our screen at the moment the stone here so they change the turn and trying to place a guard right in front it looks like this might be a little bit heavy this was supposed to be a guard i believe just a little bit heavy. Works out pretty well, actually. The angles are not great for Team Nova Scotia. Um, we're gonna have to almost over curl, I think that this one. Four. Yeah. Which leaves our shooter right there, so yeah. I don't see anything else, though. So. Okay. Yeah. The only other shot you could play is throw this red, I'm Scrub sorry about that. Throw this red stone. Hopefully maybe get that to go back. You might make the double on these two. Pretty hard. You're just trying to see if you can hold Team Quebec to a steal of one. And I'm not sure how you score at the present moment. Big shot from Meredith Harrison. Sounds familiar. Everybody That's what I used to call Jill Officer. And just a straight peel. And another guard from Team Quebec. And Meredith Harrison's going to be in tough to try to cut Quebec down. OK, j'ai pris un pied de moins de glace. Même euh, rentre encore un peu. OK. Même toi. Hein? Je la trouve encore large, hein? Oh, OK, mais elle est encore large pareil. Taking less ice here, you got to be careful. You, you don't want to over curl, and anything guarding that stone is pretty good. Meredith's going to be forced to play some sort of long run back, I think. As we see, as it gets closer to center, we often see an over curl. Okay, just a point, just a point, whoa! Whoa! No! This no! Looks this looks like wow! it's gonna, this looks like it's going to over curl. So that definitely over curled on Team Quebec, and there is a chance here for Team Nova Scotia. I'm not sure how much weight they're throwing. I, I, I'd probably throw this quieter, even hack weight. You need to try to get to the inside of this rock to get it to go back on that angle to score your one. Uh, get another crack. Nose hit. Yeah. You probably you only give up one. All right, nose hit. 
but you want this a little bit off nose on the inside. You want to over curl just a little bit to make this for one. Facing three on our final stone. Skip of Team Nova Scotia, Meredith Harrison. They need to get this by. They really need to get this by. And it just over curled. That was hard to do, but they gave up two. And that'll be a 4 nothing lead for Team Quebec. Future matchup in this playoff action. It's Team Nova Scotia taking on Team Quebec. And Meredith Harrison's a little bit disappointed in her last shot. It was a tough shot, but she didn't think she'd have a chance. And Quebec giving her an opportunity to score, and it just overcurled that little bit, giving up two points for Team to Team Quebec. Two point steal, and that's four nothing. But still, lots of game left. Team Nova Scotia needs to get some good guards, use those guards, make some draws. And just it really needs to score here. In our other games, it looks like a steal of one for Team Saskatchewan, and they take a 2 0 lead over Team Alberta in that elimination game. Ontario scored their one, so they're down 2 1 to Move Team again. New Brunswick. And this guard is curling, but it, you really, and it, it, it's going to be fine. You can't leave those guards too high. As long as they're guarding part of the rings, you just want to make sure it's a good guard in terms of the depth, how far it is from the front of the house, or it's really not a usable guard. I mean, I can't see the score in the Manitoba, Manitoba game. Oh, it looks like a steal. It was a steal for Team BC. Oh no, it's a steal for Team Manitoba. So they're up 3 0 over Team BC. Yes! 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 Okay. Let's go, Now the chance to use that guard that you put up on here first. Shauna Collier. You don't want this to curl. The girl, the girl switched for some reason to try to make it curl, but there's lots of, they needed to just keep sweeping for the weight. But it's a guard and it's actually a better guard than they already had, so. Team Quebec cannot eliminate the guards from play yet, so this will be a, another come around uh, yes. ten. Yes! 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 Dans la maison! Yes! Yes! Isabel saying, I want it in the house. Okay. And it will be short, okay. so. It's all really Team Nova Scotia can ask for. They've got a bunch of guards in play. And make sure you give enough ice here. This is Jilda, and we've seen Jill's just, Jilly's been over curling a little bit, so give her extra ice, sweep this early. Make a good come around. A 
I think they need to sweep this early. Lots of room. Looks like it's Lots running though. The line looks go. good. It looks heavy Come though. I don't think they need to sweep it. And just a little bit heavy, but a pretty good shot to get in there for Shot Rock. Now Team Quebec will follow that down. Edith Cotonoir. Cotonoir. I wish I could pronounce it perfectly, I'm sorry. Um, with a, a draw attempt, and Edith looks like she's a little bit heavy. She's going to touch on the on the corner guard and just leaves the center guard. Good news for Team Nova Scotia is that they have an opportunity to draw in light too. The guards moved over. You want to make sure you take plenty of ice here. See if Jilda can make her make her second as good as she did her first. I don't think you yep, need to finish yep. it. I think you just need this above the okay. T-line. It doesn't okay, matter okay, where okay. it is. It needs to be above the T-line. So the freeze attempt here from Team Quebec. Saying the line yes. is good. Whoa, whoa. Just needs you the see, right way. Yes. That's oh, the Mero. problem with going behind the T line is you leave this opportunity for Team Mero. Quebec. And now they're shot rock. So the peel attempt. From Nova Scotia third, Courtney Smith. Really working this. That worked out pretty well. Looking over at the other games, it looks like Alberta is sitting another two points, or sorry, Saskatchewan is sitting another two points over Alberta there. Seem to be controlling Get every end. In. Very open end in Get New Brunswick in. and Ontario. And these very crucial must game wins, okay, or must win games. Whoa. A little bit heavy yes. plan B, trying to hit and roll off. I'm in luck. And will not, but it worked out even better. We still got to do something up front here. The idea would be to hit this stone on a little bit on that side and get those rocks going. I think they're just trying the peel. Just needs to curl a bit and 
Worked out not so bad. That's a pretty good shot. Okay, non, tantôt, là, je t'avais fait mettre là, puis on a ouvert Curly, puis ça donne à peu près ça. Mon garde qui a ouvert Curly, il est allé à cette place-là. Okay. On bouge le trou? Okay. Oui. C'est tout ce qu'il y a là, c'est le risque de cette rouge-là, là, sur la jaune. Il faut boucher le trou de la rouge. Sounds like they're they're trying to throw back eight, come in here and tap that red stone back and then leave it wrong color, but leave a red stone at the top of the forefoot and sit two. Problem with just throwing a guard is Nova Scotia's got a tough shot, but they could throw a run back and lie three. So I don't know if you really just want to throw the guard. Actually they are they are throwing the guard, I think, by the looks. They're trying to get it to curl past. They were throwing the guard. Fortunately, that over curled just a bit. Let's see if I can do a double peel on my first, and yeah. then we have options on my second. Yeah, you're thinking four first, hey? Yeah, might yeah. be able to. Yep. How much do you want to hit here, girl? Oh, we're just first. We're peeling, right? Yeah. We're not. I actually like. If it's curling, watch the red, red. I actually like this double peel. See if I can get a double peel and get things moving. This is somewhere. the stone that's really helping you out right now. And the other shot I like, if you miss the double peel, you can bring that back. Onto that, and you may, you, the other red leaves, and you may lie four. You're down four, you need to take a couple of chances. Problem with this shot here is it, it, doesn't, it doesn't open up this stone for you to access, and that's your best shot. This is going back. And that works out pretty well, actually. Nova Scotia is line one. So they missed their shot, went through the hole, but enough weight and action on the back two lost all two yellows, but the red rolled far enough to leave Team Nova Scotia line one. Good result for Team Nova Scotia. It was looking like it was going to be tough to score. So it looks just like another guard from Isabel Neron. She's thrown a lot of guards the last couple of ends. It's always fun as a skip to throw guards. My favorite shot. On bouche le trou pour la limiter à un. Okay. See where this ends up? Even if it does guard the hole, I would think. The way the ice moves, you could probably go out wide and maybe get enough of the forefoot for two. Wow! Looks like this is really curling. Touch pas, ça va curl! Wow! No! No, 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 no! Don't touch it, she's saying it's going to overcurl. And it will. So a couple of options here for Team Nova Scotia. 
Like you can throw board weight through this hole and try to nose it for your two points. The other option, you may be able to draw in here and get enough of the forefoot, but that's pretty tough. This, this through the hole looks much easier to me. We gotta navigate that port to, I think, at least four. Okay. Or control, control's gonna walk. I mean, board's gonna walk. Yeah, I think so. So do we try control and see know. what we get from there? Yeah, it's not really Like that? Yes, I'm asking. Okay. <laughs> so going from not sure if you're going to score to have an opportunity Control. to score too. I don't know if I like the weight choice. Keep the straight side down. I think it's going to move at the end. The only thing you... you yeah, the control looks good. I was thinking board, same kind of idea. Yep. Yep. Gotta go hard. Hard. This is really curling. Hard. You gotta go hard. Really curling. They gotta find hard. the hole. Hard. And they do. And what a shot from Meredith Harrison. <laughs> That will be two for Nova Scotia, and they bring this game within two. Four, two, after three. Welcome back to this Everest Curling Club Championship, this Canadian Championship for these incredible players. We are on playoff day, the final eight. Some games out here are elimination games. The others still have a second life. Our future game is one of those games. If you lose, you're not out. If you win, though, you're guaranteed to think to be in the final four. The guard has been thrown up from Team Nova Scotia. Still trailing by two. The line is good. Nice come around from the Quebec lead. It's a little bit. I don't know if you really want to be hitting that stone. It really, it's a, it's kind of a guard. You okay. could come around everything, but uh, Team Nova Scotia wants to prevent a big score from Team Quebec. You won't be out of the rings if you make contact. Yep, yep, yep. They gotta get this by the guard. They gotta get it by the guard. It's our own rock. It's our own rock. It's our own rock. You can move you. It's our it's own, own rock. It's our rock. Excuse me.
back line. C'est back line. Point de crochet, point de crochet, point de crochet. OK. Correct. Very nice shot. Hit and stay from Team Nova Scotia. Trying to get this to curl. Yes, 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 yes. Just go bull. Lash up out. Yes. Okay. Ebel, Ebel, Ebel. Nice come around. The Quebec fans like it. Really moving, working on this rock. And unfortunately, take out their own. An opportunity for Team Quebec to draw to lie three. Nova Scotia is going to have to make a good freeze to get out of this end. No. Okay, I'm in the arrière, Vero. I'm in the arrière, Vero. Yes. Yes, Vero. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Correct. And that goes just a little bit too deep, so Nova Scotia is going to have to change gears here. They're still sticking with the hit. Hit and roll. Courtney's made a lot of big shots in this game. Yep. Yep. Really need this roll. Okay, okay. Curling quite a bit. We'll stay for third shot. That was the problem with playing the hit and roll. If you didn't make the roll, this allows the team from Quebec to draw in here above the T-line and the freeze is taken away. Team Nova Scotia could have elected to just put a rock right, right there. And it looks like this is heavy again, so they, okay. Team Nova Scotia may have that opportunity yes. to make that freeze I was talking about. Yes. They're sweeping this back because they yes. are trying to not oh. leave a freeze for Team Nova Scotia. It does okay. not go back far enough, so a couple of options. You can either freeze to this stone here or come all the way back okay, to it. this stone right there. Okay. 
Courtney's played so well, lots of big shots, but this is one they, it's a must make. Keep it straight. The sweepers have to judge this well, can't bounce. Whoa, no bounce, no bounce. Looks like it's. Shauna, hard Shauna, hard. Race to it, hard. Hard. That is girl. Good judge, guys. Nice shot from Courtney when her team needed it. Thanks for showing up. Good girl. <laughs> Meredith Harrison saying thank you very much. Makes my job a little bit easier, but not out of the woods yet. I like this call. They're trying to trying to nose this. They want to remove that back stone from play so that it's going to take two, yes! two shots to remove the yellow. They remove it far enough that they are lying one at the top. Yeah. You can see they're playing, actually, I thought they were trying to nose it, but they're playing the up weight yes. yep. double yep. on those two stones that were close together. It's probably almost as good as she could have done. Okay. So yeah, mine will go a little okay. more. Let's go. So the freeze attempt from team Nova Scotia are going to try to draw right there. If you happen to be a little bit heavy, you can come. You could tap it just a little bit to back here and try to lie too. But the idea is just the corner freeze right there. Seems like I say this all the time, but it must make for Meredith Harrison here. Her team needs this shot. All about the weight. It looks like it's got lots of weight. Yep. Come on. Yep. I think you're already by. It needs to stop. And it does, just in time. Great uh, heads up call. Just that little bit heavy. Just going to update the, the scores um, as we enter the halfway point. It looks like it is still 5 nothing for Team Manitoba. I'll wait for them to post the fourth ends so we know what, they're, what happened. It looks 4-1 for Team New Brunswick over Team Ontario. Isabel Neron is attempting to play a freeze anywhere in front of that yellow stone and it's gonna be a lot of pressure on Team Nova Scotia to make a perfect freeze or give up two. This is a weight shot. They are screaming for line. I think the line is over curling. They gotta get this by. And I think it's going to overcurl. It may tap it in for Shot Rock if it's got enough weight, and it does not. Comes up short. Yes, 4 1 New Brunswick over Ontario at the half. And a score of two for Saskatchewan to go up 4 1 at the half. And BC scored. They're on the scoreboard, but it's 5 1 Team Manitoba. Okay. I had here, right? You did. Yeah. Here? Yeah. Okay. Like 12 foot ish. Pardon? 
Like tighter the better. I, Tight, th yeah. I think the idea is now for Team Nova Scotia. We can either sit on top of us, make her shoot, but it's a bigger target, or do you guys like going like 12 foot, 8 foot, making her shoot for the... Right now they're calling just to Let come right to here. The problem with that is, depending on where it is, you, you may be able to run this into here and get those two yellows gone. The other shot is just to throw, whoops, sorry, Meredith, is to throw the same shot you just threw and freeze to your shot rock on the back of the forefoot. They gotta clean this. They gotta make sure that they get by the red stone. If it's heavy, they gotta make sure they're by. We're in, bury it, bury it. We're in. They really need to work on this. And that worked out quite well. I don't know if there's a hole there though. Looks like there might be. I don't think Team Nova Scotia really saw that. So Isabel is looking at getting through the hole onto this stone like I talked about, and you could get those two stones going. And you might get two or three even, depending. The other option is the double that she's talking about. Remove that from play without any risk, really. Uh, there is a draw through here, but they're not even looking at that. I think just the way the ice curls, it's sometimes hard to get the right weight and speed and line. So looking like we're playing the double. They would just be for one. L'option là, c'est d'over curler puis se faire voler un, OK? C'est pas d'être large puis d'aller se déchoter. Mais sur le nez, euh, sur le nez, en fait. Normal. Normal weight, no sit double. It's on its way. She looked like she might have been wide of the target. And that will be a steal of one for Team Nova Scotia as they bring this game to within one after four ends of play. It's four to three for Quebec. calendar is back for 2023. 25 curling athletes from seven different nations are raising money for various charities. Support them by purchasing yours today at curlingcares.com. When I grow up, I want to be a superhero. I want to be a firefighter. I want to graduate university. I don't know what I want to be. I want to be an archaeologist. I want to be a scientist. Pilot. Coach. Carpenter. I'm going to be a curling champion. Kids dream big. Your support will help them realize their dreams on and off the ice.
I learned to curl when I was 13. I remember how excited I was to go to the club. It always felt special because of the game, because it was a place where it didn't matter your age or background. In small towns and in big, it's always the same feeling. The feeling that you are at the heart of a community because a curling club is a community where veterans, Olympians, Paralympians, and youth battle for glory one weekend at a time. Curling always felt special to me because it is special. In a thousand curling clubs across this country, curling invites Canadians to connect and inspires communities to grow. Pride, community, growth. Let's grow together. Curling teaches as much about life as it does about sport. Club, team, house, lead, rock. These are the words of our sport, words we embody, powerful words, words that speak to everything we represent, respect, togetherness, strength. Curling doesn't discriminate. The ice doesn't judge. It adapts. It accepts. Curling isn't a book to be judged by its cover. On these sheets, everyone is on the same page. It's what's on the inside that counts. We dream big. We play with heart. We focus on these circles and imagine podiums in far off places. In a game of inches, every move counts. Are you ready to make yours? The support of the curling community makes it possible for thousands of kids across Canada to follow their dreams on and off the ice. Please give generously. Welcome back to the Everest Curling Club Championship. I'm Jennifer Jones in the booth calling this exciting day of playoff action here at the Canadian Championships. And that was a big steal, a big steal for Team Nova Scotia. They got down early 4-0 and they've clawed their way back to 4-3 after the break. So still down one, still, in, still throwing the, the center guard. 16-5. And trying to generate another steal. Keep the pressure on. on that and as we've seen many times it over curls so an opportunity here for lead Shauna Collier to make a good come around and put some pressure on Team Quebec momentum seems to be swinging in Nova Scotia's favor at the moment
the freeze is available. Really need to be there on this stone and just a little bit light. We haven't seen that very often. I don't think I've said that at all in the fifth end here. Just a little bit light on those draws. So an opportunity for Team Nova Scotia to make another come around top of the forefoot. Really need to get this by. Gotta go hard. Okay, we're on the front. We're on the front. We're on the front. We're on the front. And I think Jilda got that a little bit inside. No damage to be had. I still think you're going to see Team Quebec peel some guards, try to open up that front. Yes, right away from Isabel Neron. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. And didn't really accomplish a whole lot on that shot. So we'll see another come around from Team Nova Scotia. Meredith's gonna give Jill some more ice, which I like. Really working to get this by, and now they want to get it into the forefoot. And way to go, Jilda. That is a, a wonderful come around. She needed that one. I know she was getting a little bit frustrated. Nice shot, great sweep. They got this by, and they kept sweeping, trying to get it into as close to the button as they can, and it worked out perfectly. Great team effort. So having to make some more peels here, My try to get out of trouble. Désolé. And just, oh no, just a little bit outside. Misses the peel and doesn't get anything out of it. Right out here. So another come around attempt, this one by Courtney Smith, the third for Team Nova Scotia. I think yeah. it's already back. Oh, if it's already out of the forefoot, they just got to okay. keep going. Okay. Yeah. It's not a bad shot. Managed to remove one from play, but st and still in trouble here for Team Quebec. Okay. You could even freeze to this stone it. right here. Right there. Okay, I'll just throw it oh boy, throw it sorry. Okay, let's go. You can get it right there. That's a pretty good shot.
really trying to get this in there. They've taken a, some speed off. They want it in the house if they can. Great brushing, didn't quite get it in the house. Does the job. Still another run back attempt from Team Quebec. If they ever make this, they'd be in pretty good shape. It's just they have to make it. Whoa, right away. This is looking quite wide. And just peels the outside stone jams on the guard that was just thrown by Courtney Smith. I gotta take the other turn. Oh. What's that like? Sink it? I think so, Mayor, right on top here? Yeah. Yeah. That, I like that. Mine's I'm on board. Move a little more. Yeah. Um, yes, I agree. Make sure you take lots of ice. More? I'm thinking your more. second guess is yeah. gonna be good. It should walk for you. I like that better. The, the only thing you cannot do, like even if Meredith comes down, sure. yes, I agree. Even if you come down and you're over, you're wide and, and it hangs out a little bit. more to be saved. Mine seems to go. There's a good scratch there, right? It's, it's going to make it very tough for Team Quebec. And But if you hey, over top, curl and you, and you end up over there somewhere, Quebec's in a pretty good spot. So you want to make sure you take plenty of ice on this. The overcurl is definitely the miss you want to avoid. And if I'm a sweeper here, I'm sweeping this early. Try to hold the line out wider. Where are we? Hey. Oh. Looks hey, well, it looks tight on line. Easy, it's easy. Moving. It's got to be... Right here. Gonna over curl if anything. They're sweeping the wrong way here. That they need to hold that straight, and that's perfect. What a perfect shot from Meredith Harrison. That walked over there. They thought it was wide and heavy, and it it got there easily. Time out from Team Quebec. Ben moi, si je peux faire un race, c'est celle-là du côté là. Parce que la première. Euh... Par, par, par la tête, là? Ouais. Non, non. Celle-là. Mais je veux dire, elle vient de me le couper, le race pour être shot, là. Try to listen here what they have to say. Elle vient de me le couper. They're in all kinds of trouble. Ici, exemple. Je suis capable d'y aller direct aussi, je pense. Direct? Oui, piquer out, là, piquer la 7. Piquer la 7, main, c'est sûr, je vais rouler out, mais les deux là vont partir. Là, tu vas nous avoir des options pour en deux droits. Après. OK. Ça va être ça, tu sais. Si on accroche, bien, ça va, ça va ouvrir. So I think they're saying they can see maybe. Yeah, they can see enough of the stone. That's probably what I would have called. Uh, it doesn't look very good from that angle, but they see they can see enough of that stone. They're going to play a takeout on here. Try to make that stone go that way. It's, it might drag enough because they're touching to clip this stone back here. And at least give yourself a shot if Nova Scotia happens to have a miscue on their draw attempt. A big shot here from Isabel Nero.
And it's underway here. Needs to get close to that center line to make contact. Go, 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 go! It's close. And that is exactly what she called. Very good result. I think Meredith wants to really focus in on where she wants to put the stone. Nice shot. Very nice. As, as much as Team Nova Scotia is still lying three, there's an opportunity to potentially maybe get into the button. So Meredith said the same shot, so she's trying to place the stone right on top of the button. Because of where the guard is, you, you don't want to leave the opportunity to freeze to that stone and get shot rock. So if anything, you want to under curl and put your stone there to make it very hard still for Team Quebec to score. So again, you want to make sure you sweep this early. They need to be in the forefoot. Keep a broom down. You can't over curl on this. You can't over curl here. I don't think you need it to curl. You need it in the forefoot. Just a little bit lazy about, they, they should have just talked a little bit more about where that rock was. If we could bring that rock just a little bit deeper, very hard for Quebec to score and you likely may steal three. But Isabel's looking at maybe not playing that draw, trying to make the hit and roll off that one. It is there as well with back line weight. So that's what they've decided on. They're going to throw, I believe, board weight, come down, try to get to the inside of the stone, and then roll to the button somewhere in here for their single point. This won't look great from the hack. There's not a lot of space. You can see from, from the hack, it doesn't look like there's much space by that guard. You almost have to just throw heavy draw and try to wick off. But this shot here is pretty is very makeable. It curls. You can get to the nose of that. And even if you miss it, you should only give up one. If you're somewhere in the ballpark. But here we go. Hit and roll attempt. Yes! Yes! Looked like she was quite inside. Oh! They're working this. If they get it by, she'll be close. Oh! And plan B, trying to make a run back, but that will be a steal of four out of nowhere from Team Nova Scotia. And they will be, take a, uh, I'm trying to add that up, seven, four lead, sorry, three points up after five. Welcome back to the Evers Curling Club Canadian Championship. What a turn of events here in our feature game. A big steal of three from Team Nova Scotia. Out of nowhere, they just put so much pressure on Team Quebec, and Team Quebec could not make the peels to open it up for their skip. And a miscue on her last one led to a big steal of four and a three-point lead for the first time in the game. Nova Scotia is leading this game by a big three-point margin. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! 
tantôt que ça prenait ça, là. C'est pas là, là. Là, c'est pas le temps. Here we go. Everything's okay. clean, right? All right, right at her, Shana, girl. Let's go. So that's a big miscue from the lead, Veronique Bouchard. You really can't come into the rings on that. This allows the peel from Team Nova Scotia. Courtney! Hard! Courtney's trying to make this curl. Watch yellow, watch yellow. Ooh, gotta stop. <laughs> Courtney's trying to stop. It is hard when your slider's weaving to stop and you're going so fast. And we got the guard up that time. Nice shot. So forced to make a come around. It's a pretty long guard. The only thing you don't want to do here is put this somewhere at the top of the house because it would become almost the second guard. Go back with just the one guard and play. They'll play the freeze. And try to generate some offense. It looks like the ice is getting a little bit heavier and the players are trying to guess how much more to throw. Uh, and this is a little bit strong, but we'll get to make contact and stay for Shot Rock. But that's really easily accessible by Team Nova Scotia. You can make the nose hit. Jilly got this back a little bit, I think. Unfortunately, just hits it a little bit on the outside. And jams it behind the guard. It's the only way you couldn't really miss that takeout, unfortunately. It's still a three point lead, and as oh long as you gosh. can hold Quebec to no more than two points, you're still in a pretty good position. For those wanting to know updates on the other game, yes, Manitoba took their two to take a 7-1 yes. oh. lead. Oh. And Team oh. Alberta was Come forced to a single, and, and they are yes, trailing 4-2 yes, 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 yes. to Team Saskatchewan in that elimination game. And it looks like, yes, Team New Brunswick got two, stole two, and they're up 6-1 over Team Ontario. Trying to Shana, make a take it on the stones in the house. A little bit inside, but okay. makes the peel. And then Quebec will try to replace that guard.
C'est serré un peu. OK, wow! Ah, ça a l'air dans la maison. Ça a l'air dans la maison. It looks like they, they're maison, saying ça. it might be in the house. It's got to stop. And it okay. will. No, I don't know. I think it's short of the house. But very tight. Again, they're, I can't see because Meredith's in the way. Might have a chance to get all three. Uh, Meredith's not playing it that way. If you hit it on the uh, this side, you could maybe get them to go back. But the doubles big right now. Got to throw this fairly hard to get both rocks across the house. This is running. Try over sweep early. They're trying to make sure this curls. And just a bad uh, read on that one, unfortunately, for Team Nova Scotia. And only get one. The line is good, but it looks a little bit strong. And no. Isabel Neron wants to short of the rings. And it looks like it's going to stop short. Okay. A little bit more space for Meredith. I still think she's going to. If you could throw it hard enough, you could hit a third of this stone on that side get that to come back and you'd actually make all all of those rocks go a lot of lines there but i think meredith is she's not playing it that way she's just trying to play the nose hit and make those that double and then on her next one the one at the back of the four footer on the t line should be exposed Unfortunately, it just doesn't curl enough. Same shot from Team Quebec. On a un autre garde. On protège notre deux. C'est sûr que si elle essaye de rentrer, c'est juste que je ne m'attends pas à ça, là. Elle n'est pas supposée d'essayer de rentrer, mais... Comment? Uh, the, the, it sounds like they want to throw the guard Whoa. again. Whoa. It may force Team Nova Scotia to, oh, cool. to play a draw. No. This is over curling just a little bit, but no. it will be short of the rings. So now, no, that looks perfect. So now, by throwing the guard, it gives you a chance to score your three points, but Team Nova Scotia's got really no choice to, but to play this come so around right to there. Two? Like the sink, yeah, sink possible three. Yeah, if we hit that, you mean, okay, yeah, hit the or four. Or we could hit four and, and shoot and, and she'll have to draw for the, for the deuce. Yeah. That was my first thought. Because it's the, it's the risk versus reward, right? Yeah. What do you want to throw? They're just talking about that they have enough space through this hole to just eliminate that from play and give Quebec the open draw for two. 
So it's either we eliminate or we go. What do you want to throw? What do you feel better about? Well, I just threw this. I don't okay. mind. What kind of weight do you want to throw? Regular? Yeah. Okay. Good conversation. That won't look great from the hack. And it's reduced, or we sink it and try to go for it, or she has possible three. Do you like that? Okay. So taking on this hit. Cannot hit the red guard in front of the house. And a nice shot, a little back and forth there. But nice shot from Meredith Sorry, Harrison, and that will allow it. Quebec this open draw for two. But because of the scoreboard, that Team Nova Scotia was okay with that. And that is a nice draw for two for Team Quebec. And they will bring this game within one point heading into the seventh end. Welcome back live to this ever curling club championship. Sorry, I was uh, a fan had come into the booth just to say hello and uh, made me feel pretty good. Lots of nice comments about this event and how much they're enjoying it and uh, just enjoying all of us being here. So in the same respect, we're super grateful to have this opportunity and to watch these incredible athletes perform in this great stage. But what a, a good end from Team Nova Scotia. It all started when... Uh, Team Nova Scotia jammed their takeout and Quebec never made a mistake and secured their two points to get within one. And they wanted that one in the rings. Team Nova Scotia did. And you'll see another attempt from Veronique Bouchard. Try to get the guard out front of the rings. No. 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 No, no, no. Pas un coup. Pas un coup. Dangerous cyclist dans la maison. They don't want this in the house because Team Nova Scotia will be okay. able to yep. remove it. And it okay. will stop.
Good way, Shauna. Too much. And a nice draw yeah. from Shauna Collier. Just really wanted to make sure she was in the rings. You're going to see Team Nova Scotia peel when they can. A little hit and roll. Yep, yep. At the end of the day, Watch. Quebec is, wants to try to steal, but if they could force Team Nova Scotia to a okay. single point, they're only down two playing the last end, and they were very close to getting their right, three last end. Right at her, nice and clean. So a hit and stay from Team Nova Scotia. And a nose hit, that's fine. I know they wanted to roll, but that's a pretty good shot. Again, not a, a pretty good shot from Team Quebec. So it's time to something to think about for Team Nova Scotia. They could either peel that red guard in front of the rings or put some pressure on and hit and stay. All or nothing then for Team Quebec. I like this call. on this to make sure it stays in the rings. You don't want to roll that behind the guard. Not a bad shot. Pretty good. Strategy is quite simple here. Nova Scotia wants to make sure that they don't uh, don't get into any trouble and keep that four foot open so they can score. Asking Whoa. where it is. Because that stone is on the button, Whoa. Team Whoa. Quebec cannot give up two. They're attempting to play Whoa. the freeze. Isabel Neron does not want to tap. It needs to sit, slow down. Whoa. Pretty good shot from Team Quebec. Because there's a little bit of space, it looks like Team Nova Scotia can get to the inside of that redstone, make the double, come here, make this double, and roll their shooter to there is the idea. It doesn't look good on those. You can't be wide. Courtney has come to play today, though. She has been outstanding in this game, making all kinds of... Really trying to get this to work. And Courtney again. What a shot. So good in this game. She's played so well, making every big shot's required of her to keep this team in it in some ends. And now they're up one with Hammer in the seventh end. Perfect hit and roll. So now Quebec's got no choice. They have to play this freeze right there. Not on. Not on Kevin, but and the freeze in the top of the forefoot. Because of the roll and where this is going to be, Meredith will always or should always have a draw for two. Yes, yes, yes. The girls are working this. They need it in the forefoot. 
Uh, they need this in the forefoot. Okay, yeah, better That's go. a pretty good spot. Usable. Are we in the forefoot? Yeah. Okay. Listen to Meredith here. Do we do this? Okay. You can go here. Is it bad? Is it behind T? Pardon? Are we behind T? No. Okay. Probably good for for Courtney to come down and just look at this. I think she should. I think they've opted to play the peel. I like that shot. That's probably what I call. You just have to make sure that when you are peeling, pardon me, that you don't remove this stone here from play. You got to make sure that you keep that stone around. And it goes over top. Had a big arm shove on that one. Faut la même place qu'elle vient de l'enlever. On remet un gars. Fait qu'il faut faut décacher ce côté là de la rouge. Just the guard attempt here from Isabel Neron. She needs yes, to be a bit no. careful. Yes! The guard yes, needs no. to be made perfectly. Yes. Are you gonna? Yes! Yes! And it is. It's pretty good. So some decision time. You actually wanted this guard to be a little bit over so, this way, so you still had access to touch yes. your red stone. But it's guarding it, okay, so, so I I think now if you're there's a couple of shots here, I'll yeah. listen to them. Which won't. So if we peel, she's got to make a play, which won't be a hit and plop under. So then I'll have an an open something. Yeah. If one. we try for one. Yeah. If we try to suck it under. Are you thinking here? Um, I don't think with angles okay. we can go there. If we try to come here, she can sit right on, on us. I don't right? like that. So is the shot the peel? They haven't even looked at this shot right there. They yeah, could peel, play the corner play. freeze. She's doing this and she can't get to inside, so she'd be here. So I'm going to have something. Yeah. <laughs> the other way is if we come to here, if I'm here, she sits. If, if you I'm go, here, she can double, yeah. and then we sit in her too. All right, let's peel. So peel, do you think the guard? Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. let's go. Okay. They talked through that, and they've decided on the peel. I think <laughs> we gotta go this way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Titch less. You guys like that? Like. Right. Like if she could have gotten the inside flop off that back yell, it'd be a different story about it and not seeing it. I like this call. They're just trying to guarantee their their score. Feeling that if they peel the guard, they should have an open shot for one. Isabel Neron can make a good shot where it would be a a hard yep. hit and roll, yep. Yep. or we can, we'll talk about that right now. I'm sure they're going to look at it. So 
Okay. I don't. I think you're best to try to hit this so that you can get this rock spinning a little bit and this rock spinning so there really is no open, open hit. You'd have to make a double. But it seems like Nova Scotia is content to take their one and be up two playing the last end. She made it. That's exactly what she called, but this will leave the open hit and stay for Meredith Harrison and a single point to take a two-point lead heading into eight. Was I a little, where was my weight in that last one? Was it okay? Trying to make this curl. I think it's a little bit more weight than they wanted, but nice hit and stay from Meredith Harrison. And that will be a single for Team Nova Scotia in the seventh end as they go up eight to six. Welcome back to this eighth end of action here at the West Edmonton Mall for the Everest Curling Club Canadian Championship. It's been a great game. That steal of four of Team Nova Scotia in the fifth end is really standing out as turning this game around and they take a two-point lead heading into the eighth end. But Quebec will have lots of chances with this five-rock rule. Thank you. Coming down. Coming down. Make Coming her down. good. And just a perfect stone from Shauna Collier. That's exactly where you want that top of the four. So the corner guard from Team Quebec. It's always very predictable to start. To start. And rock in, corner guard. Usually a guard and then maybe a come around. And then you figure out where everything lies and see what you want to do. No, Simbo! No! They want it halfway. They don't want it too high. Duh. Or two is halfway guard. And this is looking long, so the, the girls are working on this. They need it to curl a little bit so it's off the center line. Okay. Meredith Harrison is electing to come right into the rings. So I was just looking at some of the questions on my Instagram and one has, um, has it been difficult for the ice makers to maintain ideal conditions Simmons, playing in the mall? And to be honest, no, this, I don't know. I haven't talked to Greg about how difficult lines. it is, but Greg Owasco and his team Please, have done an absolutely Please, fabulous Simmons, job. The ice has been perfect. Go. Hasn't changed very much from the first day Let's to now. It. Uh, obviously, it's warm in here. Right, They're maintaining right, great yeah, speed, yeah. consistency. I don't see a lot of humidity okay, and frost. 
honestly, it's all I can do to not get out there and and uh, throw some rocks. So, big round of applause for Greg Owasco and his teams. I'm sure it's had some challenges, um, but he's one of the best, and he finds a way time and time again to give us the best curling conditions and best ice conditions so that these athletes can shine and have some fun on the ice. And then I got another um, question here. Um, from my wonderful husband. Is it lonely in the booth since your incredible co-host from earlier this week left? Absolutely, I miss you. <laughs> it was way more, it was so much fun. Uh, we had a lot of fun together. Um, I'm so lucky to have a spouse that shares curling with me and um, we had a ton of fun being here together. Hopefully we'll have that opportunity to do this again. Another question is when the stone stops, curlers raise their broom, why? And I, I think that's just uh, a tradition or a habit we got into, acknowledging it's almost like putting your hand up, good shot, acknowledging somebody uh, doing something well done, so you just raise your broom in acknowledgement of a, of a good shot. And so the guard now, with Quebec coming short, it's not looking great. And unfortunately, we have an over curl here from, from Jill. And there, those two yellow stones are accessible. And they just guard it. the Team Nova Scotia Rock that's in the rings. The other option would have been to peel this guard and try to force the play by throwing a guard. It makes it a little bit more complicated and harder on yourselves. Yes! Whoa! Whoa! Trying to play a tap Kevin! back, stay in the rings. Yes, Kevin! Yes! They need to get Whoa! to nose. Oh! They're really yes, trying yes, to make yes, this yes. curl. And a very nice shot. They just wanted to move those rocks around a little bit. So again, decision time here for Team Nova Scotia. I'll let them talk. Meredith saying there's just too many guards. There's nothing to really peel. So they have opted, and I agree, to throw this guard. like this is curling as well. They need it to sit down. Maybe play a rub off. They should stay with this. Uh, looks like it stops in time. And does the job. With that rock being on the button, Team Quebec wants to make sure that they have an opportunity to score. So they're going to play the double peel. And that worked out fairly well. They were trying the double peel over curled. Made the run back for shot stone. You can see here they were trying the double peel, swept it the whole way. Over curled, ran the yellow onto the red, onto the yellow, and their shot rock on the button. I don't know if you necessarily care if you, I, I don't think you want to expose this stone right there. Thing is, if we peel, boom, three. Oh, did she say? 
Yeah, with any luck, we might drive yellow back to red. And we're, we're the ones with hammer. Here? We want to get in there. We, want, we need an open forefoot. You actually don't have hammer. We don't have hammer. My apologies. Yes. <laughs> Courtney making fun of herself. Okay. Forgot that they scored last end, thought that they had the hammer, but they do not. So anywhere in front of this, you just cannot be heavy on the shot. You need to be somewhere in the house in front of the rock. The girls can sweep this. Line's good. It will no curl bounce. a lot. It lots of room. No bounds, looks heavy. This is looking, this is looking heavy. That really needs to slow down and unfortunately just that little bit heavy and all kinds of trouble for Nova Scotia now. Yeah. Because it rubbed off, but it stayed frozen, you can't move it. Because it rubbed off, you can tap that stone back here and have your shooter roll right there. Final team New Brunswick has beaten Team Ontario. And they're really working on this. Special. And that worked out perfectly. This is a big shot. This is a, let's go down and see and look at it. It's high red, the yellow. Is that something we could try? Shooter stays here. And you want to come here? Is that what you mean? That would be I don't know what you're calling when you say hit that and leave your shooter there. What's that? That's coming right back to here, quick like this. Okay. I just thought it, okay. They've just elected to peel this stone right here. Uh, trying to open it up a little bit. And that was a problem with being a little bit heavy. If you're a little bit short, it doesn't allow Team Quebec to, to make that shot, but by rubbing off. Opens it up. But now there is a potential double. I, they, they're looking at, I think, at hitting this. You could make that go. This rock would hit this stone. It's just a question if it spins or not. Depends on how hard you throw it and where you hit it. It's also dead jam right there, but you'd have four red stones against two or, or against one. So Team Team New Brunswick's in the final four.
throwing this softer, just trying to tap, I think. Or throwing the guard. This got inside early. It's going to overcurl by quite a bit, I think. Trying to rub off the guard. Okay. And unfortunately, just a little bit inside. Play this. She'll be shot, but at least I'm getting eliminating, yeah. right? Yeah. Straight side. Yeah. Normal. Okay. So it sounds like they're trying to pick out, yeah, pick out this red. The thinner, the better. You may get that one enough so that this one is shot rock. The problem with this is it may expose the double, but doesn't look like it's, looks pretty tough. As much as I can. Yeah, we don't want to save my shooter for yeah. sure. Yeah. We have to because yeah. of that, right? Absolutely. Okay, let's make it. Meredith hoping to save her shooter. By doing he so, to keep my shooter. Uh, this is going to come on to here and probably sit over there. Uh, Quebec will have an opportunity to draw to light too. They're worried about the other red stones in the rings. And we have a second final. Looks like Team Manitoba has won and defeated British Columbia, knocking British Columbia out. Yep, gotta go! Yep, yep, yep. Gotta go! Forward. Looks like Meredith might have got this inside. Um, okay, whoa, whoa. Yeah, and that means yeah. she's going to take her own out of play. Meredith will be disappointed in that. Time out for time out for Team Quebec. Ben freeze à tape sur nous, puis à nous limite à deux. À tape à tape non, ça nous limite à deux. Si je m'en viens là, mettons. Let's let them talk here. À freeze, c'est trop facile après à tape sur le nez par le dos. Si on s'en va là, égal, avoir réessayé ce double-là. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Pour l'instant, je pense qu'il faut protéger nos deux shots, puis on verra avec ma dernière, pour notre, pour notre trois. Ouais. Mm -hmm. Je pense que c'est ça, la stratégie. Plus on la protège nos deux shots, puis on verra à la fin. Plus la ligne que la hauteur. Ouais. Okay, they looked at throwing uh, a freeze right in here. I don't like that. You could easily set up a triple if it's not placed perfect. You get all of those removed from play, and the yellow stone that you see at the top of your screen is completely buried. I think they've elected to play the guard. And then Team uh, Nova Scotia is going to have something to think about. Come on! Come on, let's be oh! oh! They are really working this. Trying Whoa. to keep it straight, but Whoa. it looks like it's curling. Will it okay. stop in time? <laughs> and it does. Yeah. It's fairly long. I actually think, I, I don't think there is a hole, but I think you could throw hack weight and just tap that back enough. I don't think I can throw enough weight to, like, you know what I mean, to get around to clip anything to move no. her out of there. I don't want to tangle with that. No. So do we go here and force? Do you ever think that the draw here? 
Yeah, but if I draw here, she's got that all day. Okay. All right. Right? There and forth. We'll go the extra. What are you thinking? She, this is here. Yeah. But then she's got that all day. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and that's easy. She's seen it. But then she only needs a piece of the eight, uh, the four foot. What do we think? What do we think? What do you think? Yeah, like from here. Nova Scotia does not have a lot of time. They only have 33 seconds. Meredith better make a decision or they will run out of time. Okay. Looks like they're throwing the draw. Trying to lie second shot. That take out here. Yeah, okay, let's go there. Takes a few seconds to get down the ice. You're gonna have to go quickly here. So the decision was to come come in here around yours and try to stop in the forefoot. You need to bite the four on this at least. If not, Isabel Neron will have a fairly easy draw for the win. Unfortunately, that just goes a little bit too far, and it, and it leaves this open hit and stay for Isabelle Neron. J'ai le droit, là. On est déjà deux shots. Ben oui. Oh, sur elle, oui. I think it's way easier to hit that yellow stone or draw to that side. I think if Meredith does not hit the, the top red stone, it, that would have been too heavy, even with hitting it, it went right to the back of the forefoot, unfortunately. Quebec's trying to complete this comeback after giving up four in the fifth end. Steal a four. They have a draw for the win. Need the forefoot though. She's saying she can be heavy because she can come to the, she's even got backing. If she comes to that stone, that's all she needs to do. This is curling. Yeah! It looks like it's got lots of weight. It should hold the line. Oh! It's looking really good. Oh! Oh! Looking really good. And it's going to over curl. And Nova Scotia escapes the last end. And Quebec will only oh, score there, too. Huh? As we head tied to the extra end, and Nova Scotia will have hammer. And welcome back. What a game we've had today. Back and forth. Both teams in control at certain points throughout this game. N Team Quebec had a draw for the win. 
draw to the four foot. It just over curled a little bit light, and that means we're in this extra Stay end, and them. Team Nova Scotia will have okay, last rock. The guard gone up. Line's tight. We all good. Line's real tight. Gotta go. Gotta go hard. Okay. They are working this. The line was tight, trying to get it by the guard. But unfortunately, they're going to wreck on the guard and almost knows it. So both guards are in play. Team Quebec is not happy with uh, how high that guard is, though. So they're going to throw a tight guard. We'll see it come around from Team Nova Scotia and then a lot of peels, I would guess. And this will overcurl. Unfortunately for Team Quebec, they needed that as a guard, tight around those guards. So Team Nova Scotia, the come around to the top of the forefoot and then start peeling and making sure you have a shot to the forefoot to win this game. This is looking quite He's heavy. Some curl. And it He's looks like it. it will stop at the back of the house. If I, would, if I was Team Nova Scotia, I would take that all the way back. And now a come around from Team Quebec. This is your chance. This could be your winning point. You gotta make this good to the top of the button. Line doesn't matter as much as you want it to be, as close to the button as you can, obviously by those guards. And that will hit the guard. An unforced error from Team Quebec. And now decision time for Team Nova Scotia. I like the peel. What's she thinking? You we can peel. She's just make this double peel. Those would go, and your shooter would, sorry, roll out of play. Okay. I don't like this double peel as much. I think you got to focus on these two stones. Made the double, but still left the two center guards. So, so far we have Team New Brunswick all the way to the final four tomorrow morning at 11, or at 10 o'clock, sorry. AM local time. No, no, la place the winner of this game will also advance. And the loser will just will play tonight. Okay. At nine o'clock. The loser of this game will play Team Manitoba at nine o'clock. And it looks like Alberta and Ontario will play in the other game tonight at, at 9 o'clock to see who advances to that final four. A nice draw from Team Quebec. Just didn't quite get the line they were looking for. No, 
no. Up a bit. He needs the curl. Needs the curl, Shauna. Needs the curl a lot. Right, Shauna, you gotta go. Gotta go, Shauna. Right, You're getting it. You're getting you got it, it Shauna. You got it. Keep it going, You got it hard, Shauna. Nice, nice scrub nice. from Shauna. And a nice shot from Jill, Jilda. But it leaves this hit and roll. A little freeze tap. Good news Whoa. for Quebec is they have two yes. long guards right on the center line blocking Whoa. that button. No. If they could ever get one in, it's going to be hard for Nova Scotia no. to remove. Oh. Veron is uh, okay. Veronique. I should have gone with Veron. That's way, okay. way easier for my Anglophone accent here. Hit that a little bit high side. So decision Four. time. We're uh, Team Nova Scotia is still electing to hit shot stone. You could also play the double peel on the two front stones. Now that that stone is just half in the no. forefoot. Four. Glad I said that. Board weight. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Easy. Pearl. Chili. Pearl. Pearl hard. Pearl. Shana. I need this to curl. Trying to roll. What a shot again with Courtney Smith. Just making every big shot she possibly needs to make. Really nicely thrown, well swept, well managed. Perfect hit and roll. So Team Quebec, and the way this ice curls, they, you may be even able to come here with the right weight and tap that just to the back of the button, but it looks like they're, they're playing just a freeze right on shot stone. And a perfectly placed corner freeze. So decision time here for Team Nova Scotia. They may want to talk about this one. We can draw. Move that to here and sit here. Or... Make them shoot, go here. Whatever you like. This is when your skipper's looking for input. Yeah, but Christmas tree. Okay. They haven't leaves this. You could also just yeah, play this not, freeze. I'm just worried if we Christmas tree to see. Yeah, I like the timeout here. I think you need to talk about this. One shot they haven't talked about is double peeling those two guards. You can't see them on our screen. There they are. These what? two guards right there. You could double peel them. But you have to make it. Can we get both those guards? Yeah. There's a tough peel double peel. peel. We peel, then play and then we have a which is fine if, if, if I stretch, knew right? we could get the double peel but, but I don't think I think it's going to gonna stick it right yeah you can't hit it, it thin enough to no not all going. we can either play the draw but then it could leave a double right yeah we guard and make her shoot to the draw you like the I, 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 if we're, if you're yeah, like throwing that? the draw, yeah. you just come you right on yeah. top. Is higher better? We go oh, here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, as long Hot. as we Christmas tree oh, yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Looks like they're opting to throw this guard. Thank you. 
I have to pass the file out. The only thing you can't do on this is over curl. You need you need to make sure that you're covering the outside of that red stone. Can't lift their brooms. You need to stay down on this. Does not need to curl. It, it needs to stop. Nice shot. On peut s'amener droit là. On peut faire sa rise là. It's a pretty good shot from Courtney Smith. It's where they called for it. I think they wanted it. A little bit half tuck, but then you risk showing and exposing the outside of that red stone, which would have been disastrous. It looks like she's trying to run this back. Good news for Team Nova Scotia is that even if she does that, it's only going to be half in the forefoot. And it's a long run back. They should have a should have a draw for the win. And a big run back here attempt from Ver from Isabel Neron. Anticipate that Whoa. curl. Whoa. Whoa. It looks like it's still on the high side. So close. Ah. Those are so hard. You can hear the fans <laughs> thinking it was so close, and it was. She has this tap boom boom, that draw. I think this boom boom's the best for her because she yeah. just threw it. Yeah. So the two shots, you can see who you can hear right here. It almost touches the yellow, just misses. It was so close. All right, does that make sense? It does. So they're looking to throw a guard again. You can't guard both. Isabel Neron's always going to have this. Kinda Sorry about that. The championship down there is where we got a D. So it takes that angle from her, and then she's got that tap, right? Always going to have that. Meredith wants to put it here. That will still leave the run back. It may take away this stone, but Isabel will have something. And there's also this come around draw. Well, not way back there, but come around draw to try to get shot. That's quite tough. I think we'll see her trying to run back or slash. We're out there. We need some, Where? We need some curl. See if we can. I need some curl, please. Yep. I think you might want to audible and just yep. try to hard rub curl. off this yep, guard or rub this guard over. Right yep, 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 yep. Go, 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 go. They got to be careful. And that's going to secretly work out even better. A little bit of a plan B there from Team Nova Scotia. I don't know. I don't see any way for Team Quebec to get in there for Shot Rock. Just a little bit heavy for the guard. Makes the perfect come around. Smiling and laughing. They just got by this top red stone. I thought they were going to have to feather ticket over to try to make sure they threw the guard. But they get by, and it's just a perfect spot. So the only shot they have is that tough draw I talked about a minute ago is they have to draw in here and try to bite more of the white, more of the Everest button.
This is very tough. Very tough. You can see if they try to throw this shot, it's wide open. This this rock here would still be shot, which is why that was such an incredible shot from Meredith Harrison. Not called, but made brilliantly. And it looks like it's gone. It looks like it's on the guard. And that will be a win for Team Nova Scotia. They found a way to win this game, take the win, and will be in the Final Four tomorrow morning. And Quebec will play tonight against Manitoba at 9 o'clock local. We will see you. I'm not on the air for the five for the next game, but we will see you tomorrow morning.